Hello guys, so welcome back for a very different video for me. So I am just doing a little quick intro before I go to work and I'm going to do a little outro as well. Um, but I'm splitting this into two different videos. So it's going to be basically my makeup collection. It's going to be, I'm mostly just going to show you my drawers where I organise everything. Um, my room is a mess, so I have to actually clean it before I start filming the drawers. Um, I'm probably not going to go through like my brushes like the other places that I keep makeup. It's mostly just going to be my drawers that I show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and just generally how I've organised it, the way I've separated everything. That was incredibly loud motorbike. Um, yeah, and yeah, like I've got I've got junk drawers that just are a mess. I'm not organising a junk drawer because it's a junk drawer. But I, yeah, I'll just show you like how I have everything organised. I basically have two, one, two, three, four, five, two of the small like five drawer Alex drawers and then one large one just behind me here. Um, that's kind of all of like my not so general use stuff like my palettes and my eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters and all that kind of stuff and then beside me on one side I've got all my lip products and some lush products as well I keep down there and then on the other side I have got like my skin skincare lashes um concealers powders like my my face stuff basically so I'm gonna quickly go through everything with 10 drawers in this part of the video and then nine in the other part of the video um and I'm just gonna do, go through the smaller ones but I, I'm not going to go and show you every individual little product. If you want me to do that, I can. But I'll probably do it sitting up like this. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of go through how I organise it, why I've organised it a certain way, what I have. If there's any interesting colours, I'll pull them out to show you. Um, yeah, maybe a bit of fun. I think it'll be fun. So let's get on to the collection. Alrighty guys, so these are my drawers. That over there is my bed. That's where I sleep right there. My, my room is not a big room, by the way. It's a very small room. So that is my bed. That's right there is all my wires. I've got a light up here. I'm not going to show you my desk because it's currently a mess and there's actually no makeup on my desk right now. It's just full of um stuff that I don't know where to put right now. So we're we're not we're not going to show you that. Um just just here is where I keep like my face masks in like a little a little old perfume box. Why is it going out of focus? Um and also some nail stuff goes over there and all that kind of stuff and I have a like I mean a lot of cotton pads <laughs> for taking makeup off so anywho if you saw me a little bit there i'm currently in my pjs you can see them right there and my socks and my my slipper socks <laughs> i'm so attractive right now i'm also sitting here with my serums on my face is like super oily right by the way and i've got my hair in a tail because i just had a bath so um that's my look right now but whatever so let's get into the first drawer the first drawer is not really organized because i kind of just chuck things in here it's not a junk drawer because i have one like over this side on this side of my desk but yeah this is the first drawer okay so i'm hoping you can see this okay like there's a bit of glare from like my light over there and um, as you can see not really organized but this is mostly like sharpeners i have like here and um, we have got a lot of lip scrubs i have a bit of a collection of lip scrubs in here a ton of lip balms this is where basically all my lip balms sit because i can't fit them anywhere else and also i do use them and it's handy to just grab them from this drawer i also keep my sd cards in here because again easy to grab and um, cotton buds i've got different sizes and um, the ones that are kind of pointed on one end and flat on the other end some of them are dirty because i use them for face charts as well but i still keep them because i can reuse them and um, super super skinny ones these are from muji um, those ones are from Primer and these are just normal cotton buds that are like the the paper cotton buds and I just fill this up I have a big one downstairs and I just fill this up as a little one because I can't fit the big one in my drawer if you're wondering why this thing is back here there's like so many so many lip balms back here by the way my, whenever my mom goes away on holidays or anything like that she buys me lip balm <laughs> I don't know why she always buys me lip balm and it's fun and um, these guys here if you're wondering what these are these are basically what I use to dry my brushes on so essentially let me put one together just so you can see what i'm talking about so you've got the two little kind of parts slot together like this this is so handy again i got this in primer i've got two of them i kind of wish i got like three or four of them you just slot them in if i can do it so it looks like this and then you just pop your brushes upside down so it doesn't affect the water getting into the ferrule of the brush it doesn't affect how the brush sits and lays or anything like that because they're all upside down just once you shape them and pop them in and um, so i have two of those and they're so handy they're like the best thing i ever bought they also save a lot of space with brushes because you're not laying them down and you're not taking up a whole like countertop or anything like that so yeah they're fun um and 
like I said back there is, is more more lip balms and like tinted lip balms and like just things I use on my lips basically that's not lipstick or liquid lipstick okay I've just moved it down just a tad and the next one is a very fun one look how organized this one looks this is so organized this this is my most one of my most satisfying drawers right now um what I will say is the dividers I have for this if you were wondering what they are they're from Amazon and um, I'll see if I have a pack actually let me go grab one so this is the pack here it's basically like these little things and they slot in kind of like the way that um brush holder was at the bottom you just slot them into each other and make your own shape so you can make it as big as wide whatever they come in like little six packs so i got them on amazon i can link I, i'll link it down below for you guys um but yeah they're really really handy it's basically called the six piece diy grid drawer divide partitions free combination um yeah and don't know exactly where they're from but they're so handy i like, like literally bought like six packs of them and just use them in my drawers and they're not that expensive as far as i can remember but i'll link it down below if i can find them they are kind of hard to find sometimes but if i can find these ones down below I will link them down below for you. Okay, so as I said, this is very satisfying because I have them kind of done by brand and then color in that brand. Um, and also just the way it fits in the drawer. It's just really nice. Underneath everything in my drawers, by the way, I've got one of those like, um, it's like that rubberized kind of matte thing that you can get in Ikea. It's like a giant roll of it. And I just cut it down to fit my drawers. Just so that when things are in, especially like I don't have any in this one but in like where my pencils are where my concealers are just so that things aren't like rolling around and constantly moving and i have to keep fixing everything because i've had to do that before and um, so let me just quickly go through kind of what i have in here so from here the first row to about where these guys are here all the way along the rows is all mac as you can see i have a lot of mac lipsticks that's like my most collected lipsticks and um, they range from nudes to kind of orangey reds to pinks and purpley colors and then all like the weird purpley bluey kind of colors and silvery sort of shades that i have and um, you've got some these are just like the normal range and all these funny packages are different collections and whatever and um, then you've got the lip tensities i have a couple of those guys they're like the gel sort of consistency ones and um, some of these guys back here are different sort of styles and then we've got like the tender talks which are like color changing lip balms from mac and we've got the what are they called the huggable lip colors which are really nice sheer kind of lip balmy kind of finishy ones but they're not lip balms they're still lipsticks these guys here are actually lipsticks they came out with the nico panda collection so i have two of them i've got like this bright fuchsia um and i've got a minty green which i never really use but i may get may get some use out of it um like I've, I've got i've got some cool funky shades in here like this is from mariah is it yeah this is the mariah carey collection it's got a cute little butterfly if you can see that there i don't know if you're going to be actually able to see that will you see it there you go you can kind of see it there so it's a cute little imprinted butterfly and i have used this a few times actually it's a nice shimmery kind of champagne sort of color and yes i do wear shimmer on my lips like as in a shimmery lipstick it's not that big of a thing um some other nice ones that I have here. What else have I got that's nice from MAC? Um, I can't really see because I've got my glasses on. But we've got like a damn glamour, which is a beautiful cherry red. We have got, I won't show you another red. We've got a chatterbox, which is like a coral sort of shade. Very pretty. Um, we have got, let me get a dark one. What's this one? No, for pause. Also like a dark pink kind of matte color. Um, one of my favorite ones is my silver silver lipstick i love and adore this lipstick it's so pretty and then some weirder kind of ones so like this one's like a like olivey green sort of lipstick i i like my weird colors as you can see um so then back here then we've got more like essence which are like a cheaper sort of brand and up to about here then we've got catrice again cheaper brand a little bit more expensive than essence but it's still like i think it's like 3.99 for a lipstick um uh, I've got one one Urban Decay. I'll just show you that one. It's like a bright red. It's beautiful. Um, if you've seen it there, yeah. <laughs> and then from here to here is Ingla. Um, so some nice funky colours in this as well. We've got like a rosy sort of brown sort of shade with a bit of shimmer in it. We've got a black. I think this is the black, is it? No, it's purple. I always think it's black, but it's purple. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I do have a black or I've got a grey. Yes, I've got a grey. And I have a white somewhere. Yes, the shimmery white as well. 
Um, I like I like my weird colours. I think they're fun to have. And um, then we've got a couple of elf. I've got three elf, and then from here all along here is Nyx. And um, these ones are kind of annoying because you can't actually see the colours and the names of the colours, so I actually have to pull them all out. I know first world problems. And um, pull them all out to get um the colours because it's like on on the middle of the colour. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, some of the colours down the back are ones I don't use too often or they're like weird sort of colours that I maybe don't gravitate or brands that I'm probably not going to use a lot on my channel. Um, not that they're brands that I don't know, it's just they don't have a name or something like that or they discontinued. I throw them all back here if I can. Um, so we've got like a little bit of Kat Von D here. We've got some um, Tarte, L'Oreal, Clinique. Um, those are Tanya Burr lipsticks when she used to do makeup. Um, and then some other kind of just random little bits in there. So that is my lipstick drawer. Let's move you back into your spot. Okay, so moving on to the next drawer, we've got all of our lovely glosses and like stick sort of things. I do have sticks in my next drawer as well. And I mean sticks as in like like a stick sort of crayon-y kind of thing because a lot of them are more like glossy sort of finishes. Um, again, I've done them by brand and then by colour as much as I can. And I try to have like some smaller ones in the front so I can see them and grab them a little bit more. And then move all the way back into the kind of ones I don't think I have like one or two from each brand. It's kind of hard to see the ones in the back on the camera there, but I'm hoping that's okay. Um, so right in the front here, we've got NYX. I've got a good bit of NYX actually. You're hidden. I can't see you. Um, a good bit of NYX actually because I have had NYX advent calendars so you get a lot of lip products on those. Um, very fun. Those are like my duo chromes that you probably see me use a good bit. I never really used the purple. I've actually used the green more than I've used purple I think. Yeah, that, that's weird. Um, my butter glosses adore. Then I've got some smaller versions of things. So like I have small butter glosses and I have small um, liquid lips from NYX. Um, then from these chunky guys here, which are the MAC Versicolor lip stains that are glossy. Um, all the way back to here, this long one here is MAC. So you've got a lot of like, I had a thing about buying the Christmas collection glosses. So like a lot of them are either limited edition or same color, but like a different name. And they're like, those kinds of ones very pretty like like i have a lot i have a lot of better like limited edition <laughs> so um i do love a limited edition i was a sucker for for a while and um, that's a vamplify which is basically a super pigmented gloss it's like a liquid lipstick but in a gloss and it's really pretty um, and then we've got a good bit of essence i do love an essence lip gloss he is stunning by the way this one is called it's a shine 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 lip gloss and it's called smile sparkle shine fabulous um this actually this one here this kind of weird plummy kind of one this was my favorite lip gloss for like five four or five years and um, when i used to just i didn't do makeup online i just wore makeup and i used to wear this gloss with everything and it's kind of sheer i'll just show you guys it's like a sheer purple I just love that it was purple and I was like, ooh, that's so cool and funky. I like that. Even the smell brings me back. Oh my God. Um, and then we've got some Catrice. I have a good bit of Catrice as well. So like this is also a beautiful sort of color. It's separated right there. I don't know why. But this is a very beautiful color. It's a really nice coral. And that color was discontinued, which is why I have three. <laughs> I have two open. One is kind of nearly gone and one is I've only just started. And then the other one has tape on it. So I know that that's also a backup. Um, so yeah, I have backups of that colour because I do love that colour. I'll swatch that as well, actually. That's very nice. So that's like enough colour, I think. Enough to give a bit of colour. And then we will go on to... I've got some deeper Catrice. I've got a Catrice. This is fabulous. This is a Catrice. It's a colour lip balm, but it's got like a little bit of sparkle in it but it's quite glossy when it's on the lips. It's very nice. Okay, and then these are kind of like um, lip cushion things. They've got like a weird kind of top, like a spongy sort of doe foot top. And you kind of twist it and it comes through with a little sponge. Um, they're very nice. We've got some soap and glory over here. The um, sexy mother pucker, I think it's called. Um, these are like my little H&M glosses that I bought. They're very cute. And in like cute little sets So like, there's like the pink one. And then there's like a nudie sort of one, but they're really cute, really nice. And very nice colours as well. Then I have some, I have some dinosaurs in here. Um, these are some 
OCC lip tears, which I can't bring myself to get rid of because I just have memories and I I just remember OCC lip tears so much. And I remember seeing these in a store um, about a year or two before they like stopped selling any sort of makeup. And I can't get it to focus, so why don't you focus? Um, just before it stopped selling makeup and it was... They just had a load of colours and I just bought a lot of colours and I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. Some of them have kind of gone off a little bit. Some are fine. They don't smell funny or anything like that. But yeah, I can't bring myself to get rid of them. I don't know why. I just love the fact that I actually still have these. <laughs> then we've got some little like small little W7 glosses that I got in Advent calendars as well, which are just nice to have if I need that kind of colour. So these are my two Jouer um, lip. This one is a sheer lip paint and then this is a lip topper and I love them. They're beautiful. Um, we've got some more glosses, ones I've gotten like sets and stuff like that from. Uh, oh, did I get this in a glossy box or did I get it in the glossy box? Advent calendar, I can't remember. And um, this is an ours, what are you called? Velvet Lip Glide. I haven't actually worn this because I don't know how it's going to wear. It's kind of like a satin sort of finish. It's a really nice colour though. Then again, some more random ones. These are the Rimmel London Lip Lacquer. Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. Yeah, and I have three different colours in that. Beautiful. Obsessed with this nude shade for a while as well. Just so you know, I have used that a lot. Um, more glosses, more glosses. Um, some Kiko. Love me some Kiko. Okay, these guys, right. So these guys here, see these? Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquers for the lips. I've got the shade Tease, isn't it? Tease. Tease and Too Cute is the pink one. So Tease is the nude and Too Cute is the pink. Um, these are like the best glosses because they're so pigmented and they're so pretty and they wear really well. They actually kind of set a little bit but stay glossy. It's very weird. Um, I bought these two and then like what well, feels like the next day they were discontinued and I'm very mad about it and Maybelline can you please bring these back because my god are these amazing and I would buy all of them then I've got some these are this is like a hard candy um wet fever lip lacquer sort of thing it's pretty cool um got some clear glosses I've got my um what, what are you called Colourpop Colourpop uh, Ultra Lip uh, ultra glossy lip I have got a makeup revolution lip I have got my MAC lip no not my MAC I do have a MAC lip clear lip gloss right here but I have a different one this is also from revolution my clear lip gloss and these are my Ingla glosses that I got in a set or well my friend got me in a set for Christmas and they're really nice um wasn't that oh this is fun so Ingla used to bring out these um kind of what look like kind of UV or ultraviolet, um, like black light sort of things, and um, glosses. And I wish I got more because they're actually really fun. And yeah, that is everything for the glass drawer. Okay, and then we're on to our second last drawer. This is my liquid lip drawer. As you can see, it's actually not that full. Like this is my gloss. I I almost to the point where I can't really see the back of it. Um, but my liquid lip, I, I, can, I can fit more, I can fit more, which I will. If LA Splash come out with more, I'm definitely going to buy theirs because I love their formula. And I also have a melt one on the way, which I quite like. Sorry, I just kicked my camera. I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, so my liquid lip drawer, love it. It's kind of liquid lips. Two dogs are not getting along outside. Oh no, they should be friends. That's rude. Um, it's because I have my window open a little bit, that's why you can hear. So these are like lip paints, um, soft matte lip creams from like NYX and stuff like that. Yeah, just like liquid lipsticks, anything that sets, anything that's quite pigmented, anything that gives a good bit of colour and stays on quite well, lip stains, that sort of thing. Do I have lip stains in here or did I put that in my zone? I can't, I, I actually can't, I can't remember. So let's go through them. So in the front here we've got some, these guys are weird. So this is a Catrice um, liquid liquid lip powder which is like the opposite of what 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 it's trying to say um it's weird i don't think they do it anymore but i have one um it's just like a super kind of dry sort of consistency you kind of have to smush it on and i've got like a goldy kind of one and like a purpley kind of one as well 
You'll probably see the purple one a little bit better. Yeah, like it goes on kind of liquidy, but it kind of looks powdery. That's I think that's the effect they were going for. Weird. I don't use them that much, but like they're weird. And I kind of I still kind of dig them because, you know, why not? So there's like the gold one there, which kind of blends into my skin in this lighting. And then that's like the purpley sort of one. It looks way more purple IRL, but whatever. My lights are like right, like right there and they're on. So the light might be a little bit washed out, but I can't really do anything about that because I only have one set of lights and I can't move my whole room around. <laughs> um, next up then we've got the Essence Lip Paints, which I love these guys. I love the colours that I have as well. So I've got this kind of nudey kind of rosy sort of shade which is lovely let me get that to focus too so we've got this kind of like nudie sort of shade really pale nude but it's beautiful color on especially with a nice lip pencil my favorite one is probably the kind of khaki foresty sort of green very nice i did not fart by the way i just moved my foot on my chair <laughs> um and he is lovely would have seen that in my two looks one palette using the huda emerald obsessions palette i'll link that down below i uploaded a while ago but you could still have a look you've got like a nice bright purple and a beautiful hot pink as well these are lovely they're really nice really pigmented as well then moving on we're gonna go along the row here these are um color cargo i got these in a set from like debenhams with like lip pencils in them and some nice colors there i don't use them too much because i don't think it's a like a full-on brand or anything like that but they're pretty and there's some nice colours and I do like them like when I just do my own makeup. Um, NYC lip stain sort of things which are basically liquid lipsticks but they're very pigmented. Um, this is a H&M lip cream but it's a matte. Um, it's very nude by the way and it's very cool tone. It's kind of like a grey tone nude. Um, and then we've got more NYX. So starting with say the likes of a... Uh, slip tees we have got a lip lingerie again these are all minis because i got them in like advent calendar that kind of thing but so again some really nice clothes i'm missing one i miss oh i used it today that's why i miss i was missing one because i used it today <laughs> um, i don't like when i'm missing things out of my drawer yeah so these are all really nice colors like this kind of cute little like orangey pumpkin-y kind of color um that one there is like a grayish sort of shade which is nice okay so where was i um so let's see yeah as i was saying so i've got some weirder kind of colors these are also nyx liquid lip colors liquid suede are they yes liquid suede Um, we've got some lovely sleek liquid lips i've got two kind of nudie sort of shades and then i've got two deeper shades one is kind of like a mauvey and then one is like a burgundy which is lovely and then i've got some more of those as well i've got some bigger ones and um, i think pretty sure this is the same shade as this one but i was going to give it to someone and i can't remember who i was going to give it to i just have it in my drawer anyway um, and then two super bright one is like a bright corally shade which i used in my two looks on palette using my v or neon palette from kaleidos makeup and then this guy is going to be in my two looks one palette is it yes two looks one palette using the astro pink from kaleidos actually that's really cool that i use both um and then what have we got oh yeah these are fun okay i'm gonna swatch these for you guys these are the sleek i know they should be with oh no they are with the sleek never mind ignore me i'm tired <laughs> um the sleek shattered glass like lip toppers so this is like a rose gold sort of one it's like a pink with like a gold fleck through it do it here for you guys so you can see you will focus for me thank you that'd be nice no no focusing there we go so as you can see they're kind of shift so they kind of like a bit of a dewy chrome dewy chrome duo chrome <laughs> and then so that one was in the shade hoax and then this next one is in the shade acid kiss which is like a beautiful like deep deep purple super sparkly super fun really nice over top of like lip colors and stuff like that it was really nice they're just so sparkly and they're so pretty and i'd love actually if they still do them i'd like to get more colors and then moving on again we've got these are the sephora lip stain uh yeah cr cream lip stain a few colors in those and what are, what are you guys what are you these are oh these are my inglot 
HD lip tint so I've got some kind of brighter colours and then I've got matte 2 which are both the same colour this is the shade 83 and this is it's a super 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 deep black not black deep purple that looks black and um, when it's on the lips but it still has a bit of purple in it very nice it's a really nice like just difference from black in for me which is what I tend to wear going out a lot of the time which you might find weird but it's not for me these are my makeup geek plush lip creams and they're lovely and this one is BFF and then this one is Socialite and I love this one and I haven't really used this one too much, which I should. Then moving on, these guys are from Primark. These are we're just in like a little set of kind of warm shades. They look exactly the same, but they're not actually when they're on. Um, they're nice and fun. And then these are also from Primark. One is like a greasy kind of shade. These are the Kiss Proof Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And then this is like a berry sort of shade, which is lovely. Sorry if like the focus is not working because these are like down here and then I'm kind of up here and I'm trying to show you guys so you can see but then it kind of goes out of focus but whatever. Um, and then what else have I got? Oh I've got some colour pops. So we've got the shade Times Square. We've got November and then we've got Dr. M. These two I bought for myself and my friend bought me this one. This one is a satin lip and then these two are mattes. Oh, and you would have also seen the kind of green one in my green colour series look, which I will also link down below or put up up there. And then I've got a good few MAC actually. Um, they're retro MACs, which I love. One of my favourite formulas as well. So I've got a lot of nudie kind of colours, like Cafe Au Chic is one of my faves. And Burnt Spice is also one of my faves. This one here has a bit of shimmer in it, which is lovely. Then moving on up, we've got... Another kind of nudie shade that's a bit more rosy, also has a bit of shimmer. Beautiful fuchsia pink and then a nice brighter red, like it's a bright red. And I'll show you compared to my other red. So this is Feel So Grand, yeah, and Dance With Me, which is a bit more deeper, a bit more of a blood red. And then this is a bit, a bit more of a bright kind of tomato -y kind of red. And then I've got three, I, when I say three, I've got two, but one is a backup. Um, this one is High Drama. Nope, uniformly fabulous. I always get those two mixed up. Beautiful, very deep, very, very dark burgundy berry sort of shade. And then Caviar, which is my fave. Literally, this this is, if I to pick one black liquid lip for the rest of my life, it would be Caviar. If they ever get rid of it, I would be so, so sad. It is my fave. And I've got two of them. And I've got one of my boyfriend's house because I'm like that. And then moving on, we have some, ca ca well, it was Kat Von D when I bought them. Um, these are the Everlasting Liquid Lips and these are super sparkly, kind of like these lip toppers here from Sleek. Um, so I've got a couple of shades. I've got like a deep dark grey shade, which is called Wizard, which I love the name of. Um, I've got the shade Dazzle, which is more of a kind of red sort of shade. And then I've got the shade Rocker. Yes, Rocker, which is more of an orange sort of colour. And then this last one is Lolita which is like a kind of rosy sort of colour. Very nice, really pretty, similar sort of texture. I'll show you this one, um, the Lolita. Weird applicator though. I mean, not not the weirdest, but it's just oddly shaped, especially the way it sits in here. I'd say they're probably not as sparkly, or well, they're probably not as duochrome as the sleek ones, but they're still really, really pretty. Then some Cafondi like actual liquid lipsticks. So we've got Requiem, we've got Miss Argentina. We have got, what are you called? You are... Aisha, Aisha, oh, there we are, Aisha, um, and then Wolf, I've got two of those because I bought one and then my mom bought one and it's a really nice colour so I kept both. Then we've got some, these guys are actually um, Makeup, Geek, Makeup Geek lipsticks, these are the, what are you guys called? Iconic lipsticks, but they're too tall to fit in my lipstick drawer so they have to go down here. Um, I've got the shade Rare which is like this kind of taupey sort of shade which is lovely and then naive which is like a peachy kind of color as well which is lovely and then i've got some jeffree star i know people feel a certain way about jeffree star but i do have his products and i'm not going to stop using products i've already bought if that makes sense i have them so i'm going to use them because i bought them or they were bought for me yeah anyway i do have a good few a lot of nudes i've got like all of these guys as nudes i also have this in this little spot because it's very similar packaging like like exactly the same packaging except for the pattern that's on it and um, this is the sugar pill liquid lip in the shade dainty 
love this color this is the most beautiful nude pink and um, one of my favorite oranges is the coral fixation from jeffree star it's a lovely orange um red rum which i love and i love the name of because it's a beautiful red it's a really nice rich red um i've got some kind of darker ones that came out for christmas which are super sparkly but these are nice darker shades and then some kind of random stick sort of things like these from primark and what are you from nude sticks which is quite nice um more of those i've got some catrice back here just where they don't really fit over here because there's more sticks rather than actual liquid lips and then i love this little section here makes me happy and yes they're all in their boxes because they are all beautiful boxes i love them these are the la splash classic horror liquid lips look at those boxes look at it and these these are the like second round of them that came out so the boxes are like all the same for those four these four but these guys all have different ones so these are the first three that i bought so we've got mummy which has the most beautiful girl on it they all have beautiful girls on them phantom which i used in my melt morte um palette bingo and then we've got dracula as you can see and they're just the most beautiful colors i use them a lot and i actually got featured on their twitter which is quite cool um their la splash cosmetics one i think it is and i got featured there not too long ago for wearing one of the those liquid lipsticks the shade siren yeah siren and it they're just beautiful the texture is beautiful the colors are beautiful and the names are fabulous i love it i don't want to dwell too much on this drawer because it looks like an absolute mess but this is actually where i keep all my extra lush products as in bubble bars oils body scrubs like solid body scrubs soaps and just extra random bits that i have in here and um, it looks a mess because i baggy them in like sandwich bags i like reuse a load of sandwich bags and um, i basically have like two packets of sandwich bags used them up for one set of lush and i've kept them for years so it's actually good because they're reusable um, and i just put them into these and keep them so the air doesn't get at them too much so we've got bubble bars over here like body like solid body lotions and body scrubs and um, bath oils here back here i have my soap is it yeah so i don't really use bars of soap that much i have a good few of them because i have bought them over the years before i realized i didn't really use soap that often but i do use it sometimes i might use them for hand soap and i also do like to use it sometimes for cleaning my makeup brushes if i'm short on soap for cleaning my makeup brushes and then in that side it's just random bits so it's kind of like the dusting powders and all those weird kind of products you get in Lush which are fun but they're weird so they go over there okay so I'm really not going to dwell on this first drawer because this is the junk drawer and when I tell you it's a junk drawer I mean it's a junk drawer it's really really bad <laughs> um I have literally anything and everything here I have hand sanitizers I have a battery pack for charging my phone which I never carry around me because I always forget about it I have my allergy medicine if I've been sitting in the sun because I have a sun al allergy um on my chest I get like a heat rash um there's some Vagisil right there, yeah. Some Celadine. <laughs> I've got these period, um, like heating pads kind of things, um, for period cramps. I've got my eyebrow razors, yeah, and um, batteries just for remotes and stuff that's in my room. I've got the glue dots for sticking pictures on my wall, and we've got some medication. So we have got some block nose relief. We've also got some plasters. Um, we've got some hair clips. We've got some nasal spray. We have got some. What are you? Hydrocortisone um, cream. Yeah. Um, we've got some empty containers in case I need to depot anything from a almost empty tube. I've got a color wheel. I when I say this is a weird drawer, this is the weird drawer. So I'm gonna close it because this is embarrassing and I've showed you way too much and you you've seen Vagisil in one of my videos, so that is that that's already too much. Okay, so we're going into a bit more skin over this side. Over this side, I have the lips, like I said, because it's easy to grab kind of lip products as I go. And then my skin stuff is kind of quite important for doing my face. And then all the fun color stuff is on my other drawer. So we'll do that in the next video. But this is my powders and concealer drawer. And this is one of my favorite drawers that I have because I love how I have it organized. Um, except for you right there, you're not in the right spot. And you back here, you're also not right in the right spot. Oh my God, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, so I have it done on concealers and powders. And I've done pressed powders, or yes, pressed powders and loose powders. And then my most used concealers and samples of like foundations that I have here that I wanna use up. Um, and then these are more like either concealers that maybe are the wrong color for me right now, or 
like under eye brighteners or color correctors or kind of stuff I might use for Halloween and stuff like that all back here and I've got my little palette of concealers which you've already seen just here so let me just quickly fly through all this so I have them done like my most used are here the two standing up right here are two Pro Longwear concealers this one is almost empty and I have them standing up so all the product actually goes to the bottom and then I can get as much product out as I can so I keep them standing up and then I use the other concealers to stop them from falling over and we've got the likes of Maybelline here. What have I got? I've got some NARS in the front here, which you can't really see, but there is some NARS right there. Um, we've got some e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camel concealer. This is a new guy, which I haven't really used because it's actually a little bit pale for me right now because I bought it just before I went, before I, I got like a lot of sun. So um, yeah, this is the ColourPop Pretty Flat, Pretty Fresh. Um, so it's be really nice when I'm super pale. Um, loads of MAC samples of foundations that i just want to get through or maybe i have a different color in different ones and i just have them here if i need to mix or anything like that back here we've got some mac we've also got some uh maybelline and um, this is my little krylon stack like basically anything from here down is too dark for me but it's good for my uh like working on people or if i do need it to darken something um, and then I use this. This is a TV white. You'll see this used in most of my Halloween looks because it's like an off white. It's really, really nice. And then under here, I've got like backup. So I've got like three or four more Pro Longwear concealers because I have an issue with this and I love it so much and I don't want to, I don't want to ever be without it. I've also got a backup of my Inglot powder, which I'm very much almost out of, but I have a little bit left. So I want to get use out of it. And I've got a backup of my... What are you called? Mineralized powder. I have one backup of that as well. Because they're, they're like my most used products. So I just buy them if I feel like I'm running low. Um, And then over this side here, we've got press powders. So we've got some MAC press powders. So these are like lighter coverage ones. We've got some primer. We've got some collection cosmetics here. Um, I've got some Elf. This is the tone correcting powder. One of my favorites. But mine's broken right now. And it's very annoying that it's broken. So I try not to use it. But I should use it to get rid of it. But you know I'm, I, that's me as a person at the minute um this is a wet and wild translucent powder this is like a max part of that nico panda collection again and um, it's one of those that's an overspray well the shimmery bit is an overspray in that um but it's really cute and i don't really know if i want to use it like as a blusher or not but i have it in here for some reason i don't know why actually probably should just go in with my blushes and um, i've got some blotting papers which i never really need but just in case i ever needed it um, then my MAC Mineralized Powder, like my one of my all-time favorite powders, love it. Um, I've got two MAC Studio Fixes, so I've got an NW10 and an NW13, which is slightly darker. I'm, I could do either, I can wear whichever. I've got the MAC Water Weight Powder, I don't know if they do this anymore, it's a little bit dark for me, but it's fine. I, I can get away with it, especially now that I have a bit of colour. And then I've got my Cafon D or KVD Powder. Um, there's not a lot of product in this. I hit pan very quickly in this, which is not a good thing, but whatever. Um, and then another thing you'll see a lot in my um, Halloween stores is my RCMA No Colour Powder, because it's great for just setting everything. Um, we've got my Primark My Perfect Colour Mineral uh, Powder, some Makeup Forever HD Translucent back here, um, e.l.f personal blend foundation it's like a lot of different colors i actually use the deeper ones of these for face charts because i'm never going to get use out of them especially as powders but the lighter ones are lovely lots of translucent powders this is um luna by luna translucent powder i've got a kiko ocean feel powder i've got a elf hd powder this is actually a really good powder really good really affordable powder i've got some mac back there and i've got some another one of these elf like mineral foundation sort of things but it's like one color which is my actual color and um, so that's sitting back there as well this guy here is actually just like an iridescent powder for like the body so i keep it in here in case i want to use it um yeah so that is the concealer and powder drawer and then onto another very satisfying drawer this is my foundation and primer drawer and um, you'll notice like i did in in this video here i literally just like divided the whole drawer with those dividers so you can see the way i did that i didn't individually do it for concealers because they move around too much they're too small there's too many different sizes it's just too awkward um but for my foundations i did that and i put them all individual unless they're very small and i can fit them together and um, so i'm gonna i'm not gonna go through everything because it's just a lot of foundations and um, the primers are like all here up and um, i have some samples in the front here so i can use those if i need to and um, i've got my charlotte tilbury 
Hollywood Flawless Filter in here. I have got my NYX, oh sorry I hit off you again, um, Honey and Do Me Up primer, I've got my MAC Natural Radiance primer, my MAC Tonjack Lotion primer, my, I don't know if they do this anymore, the Featherweight Locket primer from Coffee. I've got my Fenty Soft Matte Filter primer. Um, I've got some like color changers, so if I need to lighten a foundation, I have these back here as well. I've also got my white face and body from Mac here. Um, strobe creams. Most of the illuminators are kind of along this side, so I can I know that these are the glowy ones, and then these are the primers that will probably still hydrate as well because my skin is dehydrated. And then foundations, I kind of have them done by brand as well. So we've got anything that's kind of individual. So we've got a bit of Nars here in the front, which I actually need to get a new one of those. Elf, a uh, flawless finish the fuchsia moisture complex and then some max we've got studio fix we've got face and body i've got these three are all face body i have a little one for traveling a big one and i only buy the big one really now and then my white just to add to them my urban decay naked skin i've also got two more mac here actually the pro long wear waterproof and i've got the um studio waterway foundation which are both very nice. You will see me use those a lot. Um, Primark actually, these are winners by the way, absolute winners. Um, My Perfect Color BB Cream, shade porcelain, it's great for pale skin. Um, SPF of 25 and it was four euro. Yeah, and it's unreal. Like I mean really, really good. Well, for my skin it's really good anyway. And then I've got two of these guys. This is the My Perfect Color. They have kind of a different name, but it's basically the same foundation. Um, the My Perfect Color Velvet Finish Foundation, and then this one is the Glow Foundation, which is essentially the same thing. It's the full coverage one. It's really good coverage. Um, but a really good coverage that still looks like skin. It's fabulous. Six euro, and the shade Porcelain again, very good match for me. And then I've got one of my all-time favorites, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I'm in the shade 110 in this guy. I do have a couple more shades back here that I tend to use if my mom wants her makeup done or something like that. I have them back here. They're not hers, they're like they're mine, but I use them on her for darker shades if she needs it. And um, this guy here, oh my God. This guy here um, always needs a shake. And this is the Makeup Forever Face and Body Liquid Makeup. And it is a lovely, the lightest coverage I've ever, even lighter than Face and Body from MAC. The lightest coverage I've ever experienced in my life, but still a beautiful look to the skin. It's so pretty. Um, I've got two, I keep banging that, I'm so sorry. I've got two Inglots. I've got the AMC Cream Foundation and the Beautifier Tinted Cream. Like both, I prefer the Tinted Cream. This one's okay. Tinted Cream is gorgeous though. And then, oh, that's another Inglot actually, sorry. That's, no, that's the YSM foundation this is the amc cream foundation i got them mixed up i don't know what that means but it means something apparently um this is lovely as well really nice not my favorite in the world but it's still a really nice foundation and then we've got some wet and wild over here i have two i've got the um photo focus foundation soft ivory and then the photo focus dewy i haven't tried the dewy yet but i have this i have tried this and it's very nice yeah, I'm, I'll go up the side now in one sec. <laughs> They're just different. So here then I've got my Ordinary Serum Foundation. Um, very nice. Um, SL Otter Double Wear, which love. Great if if you're like wearing a face mask during the day, but you still want to have a bit of makeup on, but it's going to last as well. Um, this is actually really good. I've tested this under a face mask. So just to let you know. Um, this is also new. It's still a bit light for me at the minute, but give it a couple of months and I'll definitely be able to use this. This is the Colourpop Pretty Fresh um, foundation. Is it a foundation? Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser. Um, and I'm in the shade Fair 1N. Again, I probably could have gone one shade deeper, but it'll match me in the winter, which I like. And the texture seems gorgeous. And there's a lot of product in this. It's 43 mil. That's a very random number, but that's a lot, a lot of product. Back there then is just random ones. I have a Tom Ford one here. It's not my favourite in the world either. Definitely not worth the money, but I've I've made it work and it's actually quite nice when it's on the skin. Some other foundations that like kinda they're brands that maybe don't really aren't really around anymore if that makes sense. And then all up here I've got some lighter foundations and um oh this is actually my Fenty um foundation. The original kind of Fenty one. Again, it's a bit too light for me. I could probably do it going maybe a shade or two darker. 
um, and even mixing it together but it's a very nice one very matte though so i have to be very careful with that on my skin and then kind of moving down we've got like maybelline bb cream if anyone's used this they know it it's old <laughs> um this is the sleek beautiful blemish balm and um, this is the catrice bb cream i have a lot of bb creams on the side here this is a catrice ultimate moisture foundation and then i've got two kikos this is the hydrating the green me hydrating bb cream and the ocean feel foundation i like them um i haven't fully tried this one properly yet but i've definitely tried this one it's it's good it's not the again not the best in the world my favorite ones are kind of all these ones in the middle here they're the ones i tend to grab more but the bb creams fit nicely on the side here because they these are smaller little spaces and then in the front here these are really small little bb creams that i have that i got in a sephora set so I've got the Stila. I should actually see if these match me now that I'm a bit more tanned. Um, we've got Smashbox and Dr. Jart and a Too Faced. So I'm going to I'm gonna see if any of those match me this week probably. And I can probably even wear them going in tour. So that is pretty much all of my foundations and primers and all that jazz. So let's move down one to my skincare. Okay guys, and then on to the skincare drawer. Yes, this looks like a mess, but I do have it organized in a way that makes sense to me. Um, let me just turn you so you're a bit more steady. Yes, there we go. Um, again, I just use, I have these long dividers actually. Oh, I never went through these ones actually. These ones are from Ikea, the same idea. They kind of slot together so you could just make it how big, however big you want it to be. Um, and yeah, but they're longer, so they fit these tall Alex drawers. The only thing I'll say is if you have say like lipsticks like the other side, um, or like my glosses where my glosses are in a tall drawer, I wouldn't use these dividers because you won't be able to see the colors. This is these are better for more for this kind of thing, where you just organize them in this sort of way where it's like bigger so you can see everything. Because if you can even see back here, I can't actually see anything back there. That's the only issue I have. Um, but I know what's back there and it's not stuff that I have to grab every single day, if that makes sense. So let's start in the front. On this side here, it's all moisturizers that don't have any SPF or any particular like daytime or nighttime kind of use. So it's not a night cream and it's not a day cream. It's just a moisturizer. So you've got the likes of this is my Garnier Botanical Balm Soothing Moisturizer. It can be used as a mask or as a um, day cream, night cream, whatever. Um, we've got my Garnier Moisture no, Moisture Plus Nourish um, Daily Rich Moisturiser. This is one of my favourite, favourite moisturisers. If you're dry or dehydrated, this is a beautiful moisturiser. I have two of those. Um, another one is, another favourite of mine, is my Embryolisse La Creme Concentre. La Creme Concentre? I don't know. Um, gorgeous, especially under makeup. It's beautiful. It works for a lot of people's skin. Um, I've got my Bobbi Brown um, face base, the vitamin rich uh, face base. It's kind of like a makeup primer, but it's quite moisturizing as well. So I keep it in here so I can use it, not necessarily to keep my makeup on, but a nice base underneath my makeup. Um, this is what I'm actually currently using at night, in particular, my Clinique Moisture Surge. You can see I'm very much nearly through that. Um, I've got some little ones. I've got a little L'Occitane or L'Occitane. I don't know. Um, what are you? Immortel Divine Cream, whatever that means. Again, I got this in a advent calendar, I think. My Debenhams advent calendar or something like that. Got more Clinique, the dramatically different travel size. Um, another Clinique. This is the Clinique Smart Clinical MD Multidimensional Age Transformer. Again, advent calendar. Um, and then some yeah that's kind of it on that side and then back here these guys here are those cleansing mitts which i haven't actually tried yet i just keep them in here and they're super soft i kind of don't want to try them because they're super soft um but it's a makeup cleansing mitt basically and yeah i'm excited to try them but i'm also ex not excited to ruin how soft they are um and then in here is more of my day creams and my night cream so in here you've got like anything with an spf in it anything that says a day cream on it my hands look so veiny and vascular what the hell and also some night cream. So you've got like Clinique, um, even better skin tone correcting lotion, SPF 20. Um, I've got my MAC, um, C plus Coral Grass, Lifeful C plus Coral Grass SPF 30 moisturizer. I've got a Clarins um, face moisturizer, um, SPF 50. Not great for my skin. It's a little bit drying on my skin. My favorite 
high SPF is actually a MAC one. It's the Face Protect SPF 50. I love this. It doesn't dry the skin out and it's not greasy. Um, but we've also got other ones that are just generally day creams. Like this is a Rituals Active Firming Day Cream. But there's no SPF in it, but it's still a day cream. So I just kept it in here. And then say for night creams, I oh, that's all, this big guy here is an SPF as well. And then I've got the MAC SPF SPF spray not a massive fan but it's it's fine if i was desperate i needed it and this is just i haven't actually properly used this on my face I don't know if it's even for your face i'm sure you can use it on your face but yeah it's just a an spf of 15. and then a couple of little night creams so i've got my clinique moisture surge overnight mask and then my favorite one of my favorite creams ever is the origins drink up intensive overnight mask and but it's, I use it as a moisturiser. So these I tend to use more as moisturisers going to bed. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all in here. Like a lot of the other ones are like, I have a little benefit one. This is a Avant Hyaluronic Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream. Not the most hydrating, but it's fine. Um, it's, it's good like under makeup and stuff like that. Or if you want to just quickly throw something on, you can. And then this side here again looks like it makes no sense but this is actually a lot of like the stuff i use daily and um, so there's kind of no real rhyme, rhyme or reason and um, i've got my one of my favorite um eye makeup removers my garnier skin active express two and one it's one of those dual phase ones so you shake it up and i have to have something with an oil in it to take my eye makeup off because i don't like rubbing my eyes too much so i love these and they're usually on three for two in boots and i have like two more in my bathroom that i just keep in my drawer or my shelf in my bathroom so it goes with whenever i run out of this i can just grab that i also have in here my it's also the jewel phrase clinique take today off i just have this in case i want to travel anywhere sorry you can't see it in case i want to travel anywhere i have that and i also have a take the day off cleansing van one of those again nice and simple and um, what are you this is the elemis pro radiance cream cleanser deep cleansing cream and yeah i haven't tried it yet but i will eventually whenever i run out of my other bits that i have here and um, what else have i got in here this is another cleanser this is a lush i think it's called like a virgin it looks gross it's a solid cleanser Um, it's nice I, I like it i find i have to use more compad to get it off and but that's kind of it really but it's good um i've also got my mario badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water love this and i actually have right there you can't really see it a set of this guy in the 50 mil i think it is it's about it's about a 50 mil um and the other three cents that they do in a 50 mil in a set i got on beauty bay and i really like this that's my current like hydrating spray I use that at night time before my moisturizer and when i'm about to do my makeup before my moisturizer as well keep my skin really hydrated I've got one of my favourite things as well, my Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Um, is this the step one? I don't know. It's for dry, very dry skin. It's not too alcohol based. I know you're not supposed to have anything with alcohol in it really on your face. Um, but I find my skin feels really clean after this, but without actually drying my skin out. And I love it. The purple one is very alcohol based. You can actually smell it and it kind of burns my eyes a little bit. When I Not when I put it on my eyes, but when I like use it, the fumes kind of burn my eyes. And if you have a, a spot, it stings. But with this, I find it's a lot more gentle, but I love it. I always have these. I have, actually remember having like, a, I got the 400 ml bottle. It was massive. It was awesome. It lasted me so long. And then I've also got in here, this is my current cleanser. It's the La Roche Prose Makeup Remover Milk. I just put this on a cotton pad and use that to take off my makeup. I tend to prefer cream cleansers over like, not over the balm ones. I just, I hate having to go in and actually wash my face then after. I know that sounds weird, but like I, I go in with this and this and I find my skin is super clean after. So yeah. Um, and let me see. Oh yeah. And then this is the NYX Dewy um, setting spray. This is my current setting spray that I'm using. Um, so I keep it in here because the bits that you can't actually see back here, which I'm not going to pull everything out because you can't see it. On this side here, I've got setting sprays. So the likes of urban decay and um, i like the cooling and hydrating and i've also got the all-nighter and um, i've got a kiko setting spray i have what else have i got in here i've got another nyx one i've got a mac matte fix plus and i think i've got like a 
um, is it that wild I have? No, elf. This is elf. An elf setting spray. Um, but I kind of try to use up one setting spray at a time. So that's my current one. So I'll just kind of grab one as I need it from there and then move on to that one. And then on this side back here is what you can see as well is also hydrating sprays. So the likes of normal Fix Plus. I've got some of the scented Fix Plus. Um, I've got a La Roche-Posay thermal water spray. I've got just a lot of different things like um, this. I just ran out of this, but I kept the bottle because I thought it was a nice size for traveling and I like the spray on it. This is the Moisture Surge Face Spray from Clinique and it was really nice. Brought this on holidays with me. It was very pretty. Pretty. Nice. I don't know. Um, so just things like that are on that side. So all my sprays are kind of on the back because I don't go through I wait until I'm finished them up until I get a new one where these are kind of swap as I need to like moisturizers I oh yeah on this side I forgot this side oh god so here we've got some serums Um, so the likes of this guy is quite new it's very nice so I have used it a little bit this is the Clinique moisture surge I like Clinique by the way I like a lot of skincare from Clinique Um, I found it really works for my skin so the Clinique moisture surge hydrating supercharge concentrate very nice um, and I've got the, what are you, the Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood Pumping Serum. It's just a lot of serums or facial oils. This big lush thing here is my Full of Grace Solid Serum. Really nice as well. This is actually spot treatment from my doctor. It's prescribed. <laughs> um, for when I have like a, a quite, because I get quite a big, like big kind of hormonal spots and they're quite sore. So I use those to help bring it down a little bit. This is a number seven. Um, lift and illuminate triple action serum I haven't tried him yet other than I haven't tried the one I'm currently using is my ordinary um, retinol 1% in squalene or squalene squalene and um, I've been using that recently and that's currently what I have on my face right now as I'm filming this and letting it soak in really nicely I've been using it I'm nearly finished I will get this again but not quite yet because I have all of those to use and once I've kind of gone through those I will and um, I've got some samples like the this is actually a lovely serum. I've tried a sample of this before. This is the Precious Serum from um, L'Occitane and it's very nice. And then here in the front on this side here, um, I've kind of put them all together because they're kind of small products. Um, it's a lot of my eye stuff. So I'll just move these out of the way. I have a lot of small things. I don't go through eye cream that quickly. So I've got a lot of them. I've got two of these Clinique Pep Start eye creams, which is actually a nice daytime eye cream. Um, we've got what are you? Oh, Lucian, Lucian? I'm not sure. Um, this one, whatever this is, I don't know. I can't even remember getting that. Um, I've got another Clinique, um, uh, Moisture Surge Eye Gel. This big bad boy is one of my favorite eye creams as well. This is the Clinique All About Eyes Rich, not the gel. I've had the gel, which is actually quite nice as well. I like the rich one because it's nice, especially if I've done quite a heavy makeup look or my eyes need a bit of a break. I'll put this on. Um, what else have I got? I've got like lots of little kind of like small little clinic ones that I've gotten in advent calendar. So I, I have enough eye cream to last me the rest of my life, I think. Um, the current one that I'm using because I'm just testing it out because I do have quite dark circles and I've tried nearly everything to get rid of them. Um, and I've seen this online. It was on Reddit somewhere. This is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5%. Um, and I've been trying to use this every day as much as I can and seeing if there's a bit of a difference and I've noticed it's softened the dark circle but it's not completely gone yet so I'm gonna keep trying this it's gonna take me forever to get through this by the way keep trying it for a while anyway and see how I get on and then I can move on to whatever I have here basically I don't have to buy serum or eye cream for like the next while I do, or moisturizer really well I do use moisturizer more than anything else but I don't have to buy any of these for a long time. Also in here is my favourite lash serum. I know it's such a difference when I use this daily. You have to use daily though. Um, Every night I have to use this. So the Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. I love it. They have a brow one and they've also got a lash conditioner. And I think a brow conditioner. But they definitely have a lash conditioner. This is lovely. Um, It's just handy. I just kind of throw it on. When you wake up in the morning you kind of have like a little kind of film thing. I just kind of peel that off in the morning. But I do, like, I seriously notice a difference after, like, a couple of weeks of using it. So, say, three weeks of straight use, like, every single evening, I'll definitely notice a difference in it. And it'll just kind of start to fill out a little bit, start, you'll get some longer ones, you know, whatever. And then what I tend to do is, as I'm using that, 
when it comes to that they're at a really nice point I'll actually go and I don't always but if I was going on holiday or something like that I would go get an eye uh, lash lift so like an LVL lash and get them like curled up and it looks amazing it looks so good it looks like such thick full lashes and I don't have thick full lashes so that is everything for my let me just move these back because I'll forget about them um that is everything for my skincare drawer it's a mess but I know what everything is and I know where everything is it works for me okay and then the last oh there's a hair right there <laughs> um the last drawer is my lashes my general use lashes i do have another lash drawer in my big drawers but they're more like costume lashes or like fat like um like they've got feathers or glitter or a pattern or things stuck to them or they're just a weird shape kind of thing that you i wouldn't necessarily use every day these are like my everyday not everyday but like my general use that i have so over this side here we've got some eye lore some of my favorites you've got the lovely lashes from the house of holland collection that they did they're really nice Um, one of my all-time favorite lashes from them actually is the fleur de forced fleur loves which are three quarter lashes they're beautiful so natural so pretty and so comfortable to wear and then i've got just got a good few of like different ones from these are ones i've used they're like not properly in the box i can't even see them properly um but the uh flare rangers from the enchanted collection they're very nice eyelore is not too expensive they're like seven or eight euro for a box of normal eyelore lashes not the the kind of looks ones and they also have usually have like a three for two in boots off them as well moving down here these are some random ones that i've gotten like in sets and stuff like that um these are the ardell 600s and they're really nice they're kind of like the sirens from house of lashes so they're kind of very nice um but just some random ones here that i don't like they don't necessarily have like an actual brand brand that like everyone would be able to know or get so i keep them all in the front but they're still really nice especially if i'm just going out myself and just doing makeup um, and then in the front here we've got two of my LA Splash lashes. lashes. I love these lashes by the way. Um, oh, one's gone and fallen off. Um, these are the Dauntless lashes. We've got the Style Diva and Stunner are these ones. So that's Diva up here. They're more dramatic and then Stunner is a little bit more natural. They have some more and they've got the um, classic horror ones which I kind of want as well. Um, and I definitely want another pair of the, what, what are they called? Savage I think they're called. Um, love them, love the boxes, super sturdy boxes and I love all of this pattern. I love how they're all different colours. The Savage ones are like orange which is really cool. This guy here is just a Primark like lash holder that I have so if I've lost the box off something or um, I just need somewhere to put lashes or if I'm travelling I can bring a couple of pairs of lashes. So I just have some random ones in here. Um, what are what are you guys? These are the Ardell Wispies I think. Oh no, these are, these are MAC. 76s i think they're and um, these are mac 36s but i have two pairs of each um like i've, I've double pairs so i've just put the right and the left over each other because it's the same style and then these are mac 75s i think as well which i don't have a box off and um, so these are just ones i don't have boxes off so i just keep them in here um and then we've got some primark up this side here so some some of my favorite lashes are in here and um, they're super cheap they're like three euro for these sort of styles and what else have we got in here just some like really really nice kind of fun styles that go really pretty with a lot of looks especially the kind of looks i like Um, i like a dramatic lash but i also like a natural lash so i'm not too fussed really i don't like a lash that covers everything i've said this lots of times i don't like a lash that covers everything in a video in in my videos where you can't really see all the work you put in basically and um, when your eye is open but I'd still like a lash to really amp up the look as well. So I kind of, I have a nice balance between a lot of the lashes that I use. And um, these are more Primark ones. So they do a lot of like Disney sort of style. They do kind of gimmicky kind of style ones. Um, but they're fun. Like these are Tinkerbell ones and they're very cute. Look at them. They're so, you can't even see them. They're so cute. Um, And then let's see what have we got in here. More kind of no brand ones, more no brand ones. Then we've got a couple of MAC ones, so I'll go through my MAC ones very quickly. We have got the 48s, yes, 48s here, and um, they're really nice as well. I'll just get you to focus, thank you, camera. 
the equal so one of the more dramatic pairs that they do in mac you've got 35s which are that kind of longer style in the back so they have um just a longer middle and they make the eye look really rounded you've got 43s which are like 48s but they're actually shorter they're not as long and not as dramatic and then what are you guys you guys are number twos these are super long and super wispy looking on the ends really nice and then back here we've got the um violet voss on this side and then the house of lashes are all these here i'm not going to go through every single pair but i'll just kind of pull out random one or two so this is the sexy and i know it from violet voss i've used these a good few times you can see there's already purple on the actual band of those lashes because <laughs> i used them in a look obviously where i had some sort of pink or purple on my eyes um, so they're really nice super full I love a violet boss lash because they're really full but they still give me that effect where they're not covering everything and then these are what are you guys these are the I want it that way and they're super nice they've kind of little longer wispy bits through the whole lot of the lash and they're just very very pretty and I really like them I think they're really really fun on the eye they give a really nice sort of look and nice shape to the eye and then I have some House of Lashes lashes. So I've got the Iconic Minis and then these are the Starlets. Um, so all of those ones there, they're all House of Lashes. Um, these are super full, super kind of choppy, not choppy, crisscrossed as well. And um, the Starlets and then the Iconic Minis are like the smaller versions of the normal Iconics because I, I think I like the shape of these for my eye shape. I think it looks really fun. I use these in my orange colour series look and they were really, really pretty and actually quite comfortable as well. Um, so I love House of Lashes lashes. Okay guys, so that is everything in my drawer. So let's jump back to Carla so you can see her face. Past Carla, because this is Carla at the time of filming this. Past Carla has already filmed the intro for this before I filmed this part. So let's go to past Carla. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed the first part of this video. I have, as you can see, I have, I have, a, good, I have a good bit of makeup, but I'm not the most compared to a lot of people. I don't get PR. This is not a declutter. Um, I don't get scent makeup, anything like that. No one knows I exist, as, according to brands, bar, bar one. Um, but yeah, I, I don't get a lot of makeup. All of this is stuff I've bought or gotten from work from my own work um so i i and everything i have here i decluttered i did a huge massive declutter like not when i was doing a lot of videos um a couple of years ago and got rid of like all my old stuff that i had when i was a teenager and stuff like that all like stuff i just don't use curated down to this and then i've since added to this like newer palettes newer lip products newer products in general and yeah so this is this is my collection as is and i can add to it as much as i need to then or not need to but want to you know with different things like i said this is this is the stuff i use and i do use a lot of it and i try to use as much as i can this like this makeup look is not a look for like i didn't film this for youtube or anything like that this is me going into work this is how i look going into work today um so I try to pull out things that I haven't used in a while, especially when I'm going to work, so I can get a bit of use out of them and then use things that I think would be fun for my YouTube on my YouTube. So that's kind of the way my makeup collection works. It's a bit weird, but like, yeah. Um, but just like, as you know, this either stuff has been bought for me for like Christmas, birthdays, anything like that, gift cards, um, or I bought it myself. It's all me. This is, this is my little collection that I have. It's a big collection and way more than most people would have or probably should have but it's way less than a lot of people on youtube have if that makes sense so yeah there's the motorbike again my god seriously there's no need um so anyway yeah if you did like this video then give me a big thumbs up down below let me know in the comments what you think if there's anything you see in these drawers i know we didn't get into a lot of palettes and eyeshadows and glitters and things like that but say lip products um if you want me to do lip swatch videos like i can try and work it in somewhere um if you have any foundations that you've seen there that you want me to use and give a little bit of a more of a review on it you can let me know if there's anything you've seen that you want me to use i'll use it um so yeah let me know that in the comments i said hit like already and also hit subscribe down below to see part two of this video and also to see all the other looks that i have so my first impressions two looks on palettes three looks on palettes palette bingos color series and my how-to series and then eventually halloween is coming up woohoo um so yeah i'll see you in the next video guys bye